Well, howdy, friends and neighbors. Welcome to a special episode. It's Thanksgiving, all right? Hey, happy Thanksgiving to all you backwoods peeps out there. Hope everybody's having a great turkey day. Be thankful for everything you got because you never know when it's going to be gone. So, hey, what we're doing today is we're putting this, their turkey, over here on this here smoker. Now, I went ahead and brined it up. As some of you saw, if you're over here looking at this because you saw that post on Facebook, thank you for being a part of our group. All right, if you're not already part of our group, make sure you get over there to our Facebook page. Get over to the group. Either way, join. Check out what's going on, all right? Keep up to date with the different things we're doing. So today we're doing turkey, all right? We're doing turkey in the barbecue pit. So here's what we got to do. I've already brined it 24 hours. We had buttermilk. We had a whole variety of seasonings. If you want the uh, rundown, matter of fact, I'll put them down below. In, uh, in the description, I'll let you know what actually I put into the uh, into the brine. That went for 24 hours. I will tell you it was buttermilk and a few other sp spices and herbs and such. So we've got it pulled back out of there. We rinsed it off loosely. Made sure we had no peppercorns or juniper berries or anything funny sitting on that there bird. We went and patted it dry with your towel. All right, now here's what we're going to do. You get out the old olive, uh, olive oil spray. All right. And... You know, when you see me do my ribs, I put the mustard on it to help get your rub to stick, okay? With my bird, I like to go a little bit lighter, all right? So we're smoking the turkey, not barbecuing the turkey. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to give this bird a little coating all over. Matter of fact, hang on. I forgot one very important thing. One second. All right, I'm back. Gloves. That's what I had to do. Never mess with raw meat, poultry especially, but raw meat in general, raw foods, you really want to glove up and then change your gloves a lot, right? Don't keep contaminating things with dirty gloves. So, let's get back to the spray. Now lift the wing, make sure you get all the parts. And just paint your bird pretty. Now, I'll tell you something else that'll do. That'll also help crisp up the, the skin a little bit and give it that nice brown color that you're looking for. All right, now, I like to do my seasonings in a two-part. I got my all, my AP, the all-secret AP, all right? Let me bust out the secret. It's salt, pepper, and garlic, equal parts. I know, right? So, <laughs> this goes on as a base on pretty much all of my barbecue. Uh, let's see, yeah, there we go. All right, now. You just want to give it a light little coating. You don't want to go overboard. But you do want to make sure you get all the little pieces and parts. Sometimes you got to manhandle your bird. All right. Now that you got all that on there, all right, now if you notice I'm not touching the bird with this hand, I got one dirty hand, one clean hand. Be smart about what you're doing. Now, the next step is one of my favorite rubs. This is the Weber brand. I know I could probably, everybody's going to say, oh, you got to use this, oh, you got to use that. All right, pick out what you like, all right? I like this. It's Weber's dry rub. It's the original. It's good on pork. It's good on beef. It's good on poultry. Really, it's good on a flip-flop, okay? Sorry, guy. Didn't mean to steal that from you. All right, let's go ahead and put this here on the bird. This will also help add in the color. And yes, do both sides of your bird. Quit going out of the house half dressed. Or if you're down here in the south, that's just going to Walmart. I'm sorry, I said that. Get a little flap of skin there. 
All right, now the next thing I like to do, and this is just something that uh, I figured out a long time ago. I had a little AP to what I got in here. All right, now what we've got here is a little mixture of onion and apples with just a little bit of AP on it, okay? Now what that's for is this. You got two different pieces of meat here. You got your dark meat and you got your white meat. Now, these breasts need to come up to a temperature of about 168, okay? Your dark meat on the other hand, get right down in there in that thigh knuckle, you're looking for 175. Now, this stuff on the outside will cook faster than this here. However, what'll happen is you, you ever get that real perfect dark meat, but your, dry, your white meat's dry? Here's why. You don't have anything stuffed in the cavity. So, this little opening right here, it's very important to take this stuff and shove the onions, the apples, into that cavity. And that helps take up some of the room in there and helps with the, a more even cooking. And that, at the end of the day, is what you're going for. You want the whole bird to be right. Finish stuffing that in there. There we go. Now, all it's really doing is you're not going to eat that. I would say I'm not going to eat it. You might, but um, you're just taking up room. That's all you're doing. You're just kind of filling in that cavity so it doesn't have a big air pocket in there, causing the inside of that breast to cook faster than your other meat. And that'll just dry things out. Now. All right, I think I got that as stuffed as I'm going to get it. Now, the next thing I want to do is take these dirty gloves off. Remember I said, change gloves often? All right. I just happen to have a new set. Let's go ahead and glove up. Now you can get these gloves at any medical supply store, cooking store. I don't can't remember if I've ever seen them at like Walmart or any place. They, they, they probably do too, but I'll go ahead and here we go. Glove back up. Now, this is a nice little slurry. I don't know if you can see that up in there. Alright. That is a combination of a few things. And basically it's my injection. So we got our injector here, okay? We're gonna put a little moisture into the meat. Now you don't gotta go crazy. Just suck some of that up in that there injection needle. I feel like I'm going into surgery here. And you just wanna kind of get right up in that bone. Or in that meat, rather. I like to do a full injector in each breath. All right. A lot of people miss this step. And it is so important. Now, I really don't do much with the wings just because there's not a lot there. Get a little bit more juice up here. All right, now. Now that you got that done, set that stuff aside. All right. Make sure you give another little drizzle of seasoning. And I know you can hear that noise behind me. I don't know if it sounds like I'm yelling or not, but this beautiful Thursday uh, morning, it happens to be pouring down rain. So, all right, looking over here on the smoker. Let's go ahead and de-glove again real quick. Because I can literally just keep pulling them out of my pocket. 
do that. Get a couple, put them a couple places so you can change your gloves out. Makes it easy. All right, now, we got the bird prepped. We got everything done there. Now the next step is to get her on the grill. So, let me move the camera a little bit. Let's get this bird on that grill. Now I can't stress this enough. You gotta use electronics, okay? These people, you, you, you gotta go by temp, not by time. People say, oh, it's 20 minutes a pound, it's this many, it, it, it. yeah, to an extent. But if you wanna do it right, get yourself a good piece of electronics. I like this one here. Um, I picked it up for like $35, 40 bucks somewhere, I think on Amazon.com. Um, there it is. It holds six different uh, probes. It does use your uh, Bluetooth or your Wi-Fi to uh, connect to your cellular phone, to your smartphone, your iPhone, whatever you got. Download the app and I can monitor these temps from inside the house without having to think about it. You can set your parameters so you know when you're where. Right now we're sitting there just off from 300 degrees. That's where we want to keep it. So, a little hotter than I normally do. I know, right? Look at that. All right. Throw on another pair of gloves. Boy, I hope this audio is coming out okay with all this rain. Put that bird right down there on the uh, smoker. Lose one glove. Because now we want to take our heat probes. And we want to take one. And I like to come in here and just get it right down into that thigh, kind of by the bone a little bit. Then I like to take another one. and get it into that big piece of that drumstick. That way I'm getting two different readings. Like I said, let's see, let's see what scroll I got here. Make sure you know what probe is what. We'll put the thigh in number three. We'll stick the breast on number two. All right, so with that said, We got one on our grill. We got one on the thigh. Well, drumstick thigh area. Biggest piece of the meat, what you're looking for. And then one down in here into the breast. So, we're all good there. Go ahead and shut this here bad boy down. All right. We got this opened up. We're gonna add a little bit of... We're cooking with some oak today. That, uh, Heather was so kind to bring home uh, a little over a year ago. We've had setting aging and uh, getting dried out in our shed out back. It's a nice uh, nice bit of oak. So we're going to go ahead and add that, get the smoke going. And hey, we'll see you here in a couple hours when we check on this in a little bit. We'll see where our temps are, and I'll see you then. Hey, enjoy your morning. Be safe if you're driving out there, all right? The roads are slick around here, wherever you're at. Be good to one another, all right? Grab them, hold them, hug them, kiss them, love on them, because you never know what's going to bring to you the next day. Hey, see you in a couple hours. Love you. Peace. All right, it's been a couple hours now. We got this thing about at 150-ish, all right? So what we're going to do, we're going to open her back up. We're going to take a little bit of tin foil. We're going to cover the top of that bird with that, okay? Because here's the big deal, all right? We've got to, uh, we don't want any more darkness to happen. We want it to be that nice, pretty color, all right? Come on in here. Woo, wee, look at that there smoke. All right, check that bird out. That bird is looking amazing right here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. We're just gonna, you don't really gotta wrap it hard. You just want to kind of put that over top of that bird. Come on, tinfoil, work with me. Just hug your bird. Just <laughs> hug your bird. There it is. All right. So, go ahead and put that back down. Hey, 
We'll see you here in just a short when this is all wrapped up, all right? Cool. Peace. All right, we're at the end of this cook. We're opening this bad boy up. Let's take the foil off. We got our tray right there. Now, like I said earlier, glove up. This just keeps everybody safe, okay? So, go ahead and put these on. I'm gonna pull this off. We're sitting right at the perfect temperature. Our skin's nice and brown. All right, let's go ahead and pull these probes out of here. Careful. There we go. All right, so there's our turkey. All right, let's go ahead and take it inside and we'll show you cutting it up. All right, let's do this. Well, folks, um, I know I said I was going in the house with that bird and well we did and unfortunately the video came out uh, a little flaky so we had to scrap that so here I am it's the next morning everything went great the food was amazing everybody had a great time there's a little picture right there of everybody around the food before we went ahead and cut it up you can see how nice everything looks so a lot of smiling faces a lot of full bellies when we were done so hey if you like this video if you want to see more videos like this of me preparing different kinds of foods you know get over on the Facebook group join the group make sure you do that all right say hi to Heather and uh, hey if you want to see more let me know all right tell me what you want to see all right, we do you know the ribs the pork butts uh, the briskets the poor man burn ends oh I'll definitely uh, y'all want to see something like that just let me know all right we'll uh, we'll try to get it those done and get them up and uh, kind of the how-to um, hey Make sure you hit that like button on this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you ain't already, go on, ring that bell, ding, 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 get those notifications. And hey, be good to one another. Peace.